Hello, this is Custom Rifle Scopes, and uh, today we have the Nighthog that we'll be showing you. This particular one uh, is the prototype. Um, in this video, we'll be showing you how to build one for yourself. Um, the latest model will have a better um, button uh, selection for your playback and recording. Um, better integration device uh, for your crosshairs, uh, <coughs> for your crosshair builder. And basically, what we wanted to do with uh, this particular type of scope was uh, allow the builder to choose what type of camera he wanted to put inside and to be able to choose what sort of magnification lens he wanted on the front, he or she. Now, this particular one has a 9 times magnification. If you have an old scope at home and you wanted to uh, use it um, to build this unit, uh, as long as it's got front AO, um, adjustable ocular, uh, then you shouldn't have a problem. Uh, we do recommend uh, uh, at least 6 times magnification. You can go lower if you like. Um, you would want a wide angle lens, uh, this particular one is 42mm, uh, uh, sorry 50mm, you can go larger, yes this is 50mm, uh, you can go larger if you like or smaller if you like, uh, but to get to a good field of view uh, I'll, I'll choose 50mm. So what we'll do is um, we'll go through some of the parts you'll be using obviously you, in the kit you can opt for one of our um, scopes that you can uh, cut up because this is actually um, cut off a, a normal scope the front part you can use one of our, our selection or you can use one of your own to save yourself some money it's uh, your choice some of the parts we'll be using is the VFC2 that we'll be going in, inside this is a 640 by 480 uh, screen, which is probably one of the better um, screens to use. If you're going to go um, HD, then uh, you're going to be paying a pretty price, but these are around £100. So uh, any lower in quality uh, and price, you're not going to have a very good um, uh, screen on, on anything cheaper. These are the best around at the moment for the price. Uh, <clears throat> you'll also need a mount uh, mount system to mount all this on. Um, with our kit system, you'll have uh, all the parts you need to build it. Obviously, you'll need your own tools with a few other bits and pieces, but that'll be in the list. Um, also, there's a 3D printed uh, case that would actually sit and slot in in between here once these uh, two parts of the mount are taken off slots nicely in everything slots into that and uh, to put it together it's I wanted to make it as basic and simple as possible so 90% of you out there could have a go at making one this particular one is just a prototype uh, come off the printing machine, uh, there will usually be a, a little bit better quality than this, um, but this one I'll be using just to show you how to build it. <coughs> You'll also get uh, one of these little um, button pads that you will be able to plug into the uh, uh, connector so you can adjust your crosshair uh, when you need to zero it. And once you've zeroed, you can just unplug and then you won't need it anymore. Uh, you'll also have, because this is a prototype, we haven't fitted one, you'll also have an end um, eye cup um, so you can uh, stop the glare of the uh, screen uh, coming out all over the place uh, so that you can be hidden at night. Also, uh, there's a new battery system. Uh, you'll be able to unplug these in the field. If you run out of power, just plug a new one in and off you go again. So not a problem there. There'll be an external charger that will come with the kit as well. So that's not a problem. 
uh, you have your on the newer version there's a few more buttons as you can see where you're going to have your record stop playback menu buttons um, obviously your rotary on and off which will also be on dimmer for the screen you'll have your memory card slot there as you can see I haven't put this one uh, together um, properly because I'll be taking it apart again in a minute uh, just to show you how to build one uh, it'll be step-by-step -step instruction so you won't get lost and hopefully I'll make it as simple as possible um, so you can build one yourself using our kit Thank you for watching. Uh, the next part of this video will be stripping one of these units down. Obviously you'll have, be better off testing it first to make sure it works before you start. Because uh, once you have started you void the warranty. So uh, we'll be going through how to uh, solder the push button because this is only a momentary push button. Just turn the screen on, you want it on all the time and you want it wired in to the rotary on and off switch. So that's that. So we'll be starting off with this in uh, part one of, sorry, uh, yes, part one of the build, and then we'll be going all through there on how to build. There'll be probably around about five or six parts to break it down nice and easy for you to follow. Thank you for watching part zero.